Hi YouTubers, it's Smoke C. Uh, so I'm here today. So I'm in the garage. I'm smoking my, you know, guys, you know I'm smoking. I think you know by now. Big ass cigar for life. So a lot of people ask me what cigar I'm actually smoking when I say big ass cigar. It's actually a Florida Olivia. So Florida Olivia. So that is the big ass cigar. So this video I'm going to be focusing on right now. If you haven't seen my post on Cigar Gang on Facebook, is going to be weirdest comments ever. Part ten. So this is going to be a thirty minute video, or forty minute video, or twenty five minute video, whatever. So yes, it's here finally. You know, you mfers know it on Cigar Gang. Oh yeah, with a big ass cigar for life. And I'm drinking some water right now. Just drinking some water. I apologize the paper's over there. It's a little bit windy outside. I wanted to blow away. If you've seen my videos in the past, you know that my paper can blow away very easily. So, anyway, this is what it is right here. Okay. So that's the uh, template. And I have, let's see, 16 comments to share. My usual disclaimer, these videos contain bad language, cursing, swearing, profanity. If you're not into watching um, videos that contain bad language, please don't watch. If you're a troll, don't watch. If you're easily offended, don't watch. Um, also, this is going to be a long video, so if you're not into watching long videos, click off right now. If you're not somebody who likes to watch 20, 30 minute videos, click off right now. So... The first comment, okay, let's get right into it. These are comments from summer 2013, so almost three years ago. Yeah, summer 2013. So the first comment, and I do have to tone these down quite a bit because uh, some, of the, some of them contain expletives, so like the F word. So yeah, big yes, yeah, cigar for life. I won't censor that, but I will censor the F word just because I don't want the video to get flagged or anything. So anyway, point is, okay. So let me just move the template over here. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Okay, it's starting with a big ass cigar for life. Hashtag big ass cigar for life. Okay. So the first comment says, wow, it's actually pretty windy, so I have to hold this paper so it doesn't blow away. First comment says, and the first two comments are actually from the same person. First comment says, I'm not going to mention the name, it says, LOL dot dot dot, someone effing kill me, what a retar, he's got to be acting here. <laughs> okay, so, that's the first comment. So, he says, somebody effing kill me, what a retard, he's got to be acting here. You know what, dude, screw you. So, a couple things that are wrong about that comment. First off... I don't get for the life of me how I'm, I'm a retard. I mean, for the last time, I will never understand why people think I come off as, like, mentally retarded or, like, mentally disabled. I mean, I have Asperger's. You know, I have Asperger's. I have high-functioning autism, Asperger's. I have bipolar, but I don't get what comes off as, like, retarded because, to me at least, why I smoke my big-ass cigar... To me, the term retard, retarded, the R word, it's in, that's more to somebody who is like Down syndrome, who's somebody who is mentally retarded, like somebody who has a very low IQ. I mean, screw you, dude. I mean, I graduated number one in my paralegal class in Mass Bay. So why would I, or Mass Bay Community College, I graduated number one in my paralegal class, but why would it matter even if somebody is, I mean, even if I was hypothetically, you know, mentally retarded or have some significant disabilities, why would it even matter to you? I mean, unless you're somebody who is, like, phobic of people who have disabilities, why would it even matter to you? I mean, and I don't get what comes off as, um, one sec, somebody's posting something on Facebook, sorry. I get notifications. So, anyway, um, yeah, this is my notification on my iPad. So, why would it even matter to you if 
I am mentally uh, disabled or whatever, or have Asperger's, autism, whatever. Because at the end of the day, it's not hurting you. So, I mean, who cares? I mean, who cares if somebody is retarded or somebody is, the more, the more proper way to say it is mentally retarded, or somebody has Asperger's or autism. It doesn't matter, really. And secondly, I'm trying to get this across, is what comes off as mentally retarded for me? I mean... I, I know people who are mentally retarded, and it's, it's sad, I mean, but I mean, they're not some of the nicest people you can meet, and, but I don't get, for the life of me, myself, what comes off as mentally retarded. I mean, I act a little quirky, I act a little different, I think everyone's a little dif different, but what comes off as, like, mentally retarded? I mean, somebody who's mentally retarded, you can tell pretty quickly if they have significant disabilities, like low-functioning autism, because... It's a pretty obvious thing, I mean, but someone like me, I don't think I act like I'm mentally retarded, or I have a low IQ, I mean, I think I act pretty normal, I mean, I have Asperger's, I have bipolar, but I think I act pretty normal, I'm not going all over the place being crazy, I mean, I don't know what comes off as, like, mentally retarded. So, next comment says, um, 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 something like that. Okay, so he's criticizing the same person, this is the same person who wrote the first comment. He's criticizing me saying, um, um, um. So in my older videos, I used to say, um, a lot. I mean, but you know what, dude? Most people, you know, screw you, dude. Most people say, um, a little bit. I mean, I've talked to a lot of people, friends, family, and they say, oh, I can't tell you how many times I, I say, like, um, when I'm talking on the phone. I mean, who the hell even cares? I mean, does it really even matter? It's like, it's like these people are so concerned about somebody's, like, disability or somebody's, how somebody acts. It's like these people are freaking perfectionists. I mean, perfectionists. I mean, they try to act perfect. I mean, I don't think anyone's perfect, unless you believe in religion. I mean then maybe God is perfect? I don't know. I'm not getting into religion, but the point is, I mean, what's the big deal if somebody says, um, a little bit? You am. I mean, what, does it even matter? I mean, it's like, some of these comments are so stupid. They are stupid. I mean, I can't understand why somebody would care that much about somebody saying, um, I mean, it's a two-letter word. It's not really even a word in the dictionary. So, it's like a text message word. So, I mean, who even cares? I mean, who the hell even cares? It's not even, like, a real word. I mean, maybe at a certain point it's a little bit annoying. But if you hate the video so much, I mean, YouTube is a free website. You have every right to, to click off the video right now. I mean... You could, at any point in this video, click off. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it's like these people, again, they think like your videos are infecting other people's videos on YouTube. They're not. I mean, YouTube is a free website. It's like, I don't get some of these people. It's like, I really don't. These people think your videos are, like, infecting YouTube. They're, like, causing a virus on YouTube. They're going to, like, destroy YouTube. They're going to, like, infect other people's videos. You know what? Screw you, dude. It's like, I don't get that. I really don't. I don't get why somebody thinks uh, it's so bad for somebody to upload a video. I mean, there are videos on YouTube that have a million dislikes, and there's videos on YouTube that have a million likes. So, why does it even matter? I mean, I don't get it. It's like, at the end of the day, it's not hurting you. If somebody uploads <clears throat> a video to YouTube, it's not hurting you at the end of the day. It's not affecting your daily life. It's not affecting your daily... Function. It's like the same thing with, with somebody having a disability. It's not affecting you unless you're like somebody who's paranoid. I mean, I almost get the I almost get the feeling these people are almost like paranoid. They're like with the you know the retard comments, the R word comments. They're like almost like paranoid. They think like, oh, ugh, is this person like disabled? Ugh, like, ugh. is this person like crazy? You know, you know what? Stop living a hundred years ago. I mean, that's something people did a hundred fifty, you know, two hundred years ago. And the, I don't know. I mean, it's like it's so weird. I mean, the word is weird. I mean, the correct phrase is weird.
it's like these people are paranoid that your videos are somehow going to like inf influence other people's videos on YouTube. It's like if a video gets one like, that's fine. If it gets a million likes, that's great. If it gets 10 billion likes, that's even better. So, I mean, who cares? It's like these people think your videos are like infecting other people's videos. I don't think they are. I mean, how can your videos, unless you purposely add viruses to your videos, I'm not even sure if you can, I mean, I don't get that. So, I mean, why would somebody care that much about that? So, or burner, sorry. Next comment says, you look transgendered. <laughs> okay, that's a nice comment for a big ass cigar for life. You look transgendered. <laughs> okay, you're, you're totally 12 years old. You're probably 11, 12 years old. Living in your mommy and daddy's basement. You know, you look transgendered. Wow. I mean, how stupid can you get? What part of me even comes off as transgendered? I mean, what the hell, man? I mean, what the hell of a big-ass cigar? I mean, <clears throat> I mean, what comes off as transgendered? I mean, I don't even get that. I mean, it's like that Viking comment, like a Viking. I did that last time, so I mean, a Viking? Are you freaking serious? I mean, what comes off as transgendered? Is it my eyes? Is it my nose? Is it my lips? Is it my teeth? Is it my ears? Is it a big ass cigar for life? I don't even get that. I mean, I have freaking facial hair. I mean, I have bleeping facial hair. So, what comes off as transgendered? I mean, I don't even, that's, I don't even understand that. I mean, yeah, my very early videos, I, I had my ears pierced, but a lot of men have their ears pierced. A lot of men have their ears pierced. Plenty of men, even those really tough men with the like gym comments, a lot of men have their ears pierced. Sure. You know, big skull earring, you know, big tattoo, you know, big pierced ears. A lot of men have their, their ears pierced, so... I mean, transgendered? What the hell even comes off as transgendered? I don't even get that. I mean, what part in the world would come off as transgendered? I don't even get that. So, next comment says, You sound like a little bitch. <laughs> a little beep. Okay, not going to use the word again. Um, so, you sound like a little B-I-T-C-H. Okay, you're probably 12, 13 years old if you're saying something like that. I mean, if you're saying shit like that, you're probably 12 years, years old. A little bitch, okay, whatever, dude. Why would I come off as like a little, you know? So, I mean, I'm not going to use the word a third time. But the point is, what would come off as me acting like a B-I-T-C-H? I mean, somebody who is... Uh, B-I-T-C-H is like somebody who's complaining, because, you know, the phrase, I'm bitching a lot, you know? So, I mean, I don't complain, I don't whine, I'm actually a very cooperative person. I'm a very cooperative person. I'm somebody who definitely goes with the flow. I mean, I'm not somebody who complains or whines. Again, if it's directed the other way, which... B-I-T-C-H, but can also mean uh, somebody who acts like a little girl. So if you're getting to those gym comments, which are creepy as hell, I mean, they're creepy. If you think that I don't act like a man, you know what? Screw you, dude. Again, for the last time, I'm actually very happy with my life. I'm not interested in being buffed out. I'm not interested in having a six-pack. I'm not interested in lifting weights, going to the gym, and being at a perfect weight. You know, there are plenty of, peop there are plenty of people who paper doesn't blow away. Um, there are plenty of people who want to be buffed out. They want to have a six-pack. That's fine for them. You know, great for you. You want to be a perfect weight. You know what? I never want to be a perfect weight. Never. I love eating. I love smoking my big-ass cigars for life. Um, I don't really care that I'm a little bit overweight. So, I mean, you know, I'm 5'10", 5'11", probably 225, 230 or so, uh, 228 or so. 
I don't care. I mean, it doesn't bother me that I'm a little bit overweight. I mean, does it really matter? I mean, unless you're into those creepy, creepy gym comments, I mean, why would it even matter to you if somebody is a little bit overweight? I mean, I understand to a certain extent if somebody is, like, fat, you know, the big, fat, eating donuts, eating hot dogs, eating cheeseburgers. Yeah, that's kind of gross. I mean... I mean, obviously, past a certain extent, it's gross. I mean, I, I think that people are personally... It kind of bothers me. I mean, seeing people who are 350, 400 pounds, it kind of bothers me a little bit because it's kind of gross. But somebody like me who just eats three meals a day and has a couple snacks, is that really gross? I mean... I don't sit there just stuffing my face with McDonald's. I don't just sit there, you know, drinking soda after soda after soda. I mean, I drink soda, but I mean, I don't just sit there going, blah, 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 blah. So, I mean, I don't get that. I mean, I don't get what comes off as like, you know what, it's like calling me a little bitch. I mean, it's like, unless you're somebody who's into those creepy gym comments, you're into, you know, people who are buffed out, have a six-pack... You know what? I don't want to be buffed out. I'm actually very happy with myself, so I really don't care about being, like, having a six-pack. I mean, I don't want to be, like, a big man or have, like, you know, walk around going, boo, 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 hi, ladies, I'm a buffed-up man. You know what? It doesn't matter to me because I'm not interested in having a girlfriend. You know, I'm not interested in, you know... You know, I'm not trying to be prejudicial towards women, but, I mean, I'm not interested in, you know, impressing girls yet. Because I don't want a girlfriend, so it doesn't matter to me. I mean, I'm just somebody who is just not interested in, you know, being buffed out or dating. So, anyway, weird comment. I'm probably overthinking it, so... Uh, next comment... Comment number five says, You are all P-U-S-S-Y. Try the real shit. <laughs> okay, I think what he's referring to... I actually forget exactly what this comment was on. I think he's referring to either weed... Yeah, I think he's referring to... No, I remember this comment. Yeah, I remember this comment. Okay. He's referring to dip, or chewing tobacco, I think. I think this comment was on, um, Cutter Lovery's video, on the video on, um, Beaver Chew, or, like, a snus, the, um, Beaver, uh, Chewing Tobacco, which is, like, mint leaves. It looks like chewing tobacco, or dip, or snus, or snus, but it's actually, um, it's mint leaves, so it helps people quit dipping tobacco, so. He's saying everybody's, a uh, row, you know, row, and they should try the real shit. But you know what? For the last time, I really don't care. I mean, why does it even matter? I mean, some people chew, some people smoke, some people smoke weed. But you know what? Who cares? I mean, who cares what some people use? Some people eat ten hamburgers a day. Some people eat one hamburger a day. Some people drink one can of soda a day. Some people walk ten miles a day. Who even cares? I mean, it's like these people care so much about people's lives. Why does it even matter? I don't get why it even matters. So, try the real shit. And you know, for the last time, in my, in my opinion, chewing tobacco, dipping tobacco is disgusting. It is absolutely revolting, the idea of spitting on... Going like that. You know what? To issues their own, I'm not against people who use chewing tobacco. I watch people who use chewing tobacco like Mud Jugging out Outlaw. But you know what? It's something I would never do myself. It is bleh, disgusting. The idea of swallowing on like that, it like it's like you're a horse. It's like you're a freaking horse. It's going or a pig. So I mean, no offense to people who actually do it. I'm not trying to call somebody out and say it's bad. I mean, it's better than smoking. But you know what? Teachers are own. I don't care. I mean, people are gonna say you know. Well, you do realize you know you're breathing in you know cyanide and rat poison, you realize you're breathing in arsenic, you realize there's formaldehyde in smoke, 
you know what? I don't freaking care. It's my own freaking body. I mean, I'm twenty, almost 25 years old. I'm a grown-ass man. I can do my own shit, you know. I don't need people to baby me. I'm not a little kid. I'm not... See, this is the thing. Just a quick rant. rant. See, it would be different if I was like a 12-year-old kid who's stealing his parents' money to buy cigarettes or buy chew. And I was like, you know, forcing my friends to illegally buy me cigarettes. I'm not. I mean, I'm almost 25 years old. I've shown you my ID on camera. I mean, I'm almost a 25-year-old adult. I'm almost halfway through my 20s. I'm old enough to drink. I'm old enough to smoke. I'm not this 12-year-old kid who's stealing his parents' money to buy cigarettes. I mean, and I'm totally against underage smoking. I mean, I'm totally against people who are underage. You're underage, don't smoke. It's not for you. You know what? If you're underage, my best advice is quit. Quit while you're ahead because that's the thing. And a big thumbs up to you if you don't smoke. So, but you know what? It's my own body. It's my own shit. So, I mean, I choose to smoke. Some people choose to smoke weed. Whatever. As long as I'm not hurting other people, it doesn't matter. So, I mean, that's the part I don't get. So, uh, next comment. It says, are you retarded? <laughs> Oh, yeah, big-ass cigar for life. Quick answer. No, I am not retarded, you idiot. I'm not, I'm not retarded. I don't get that. It's like I was saying about 15 minutes ago. What comes off as retarded? I mean, the term retarded to me is somebody who is, like, has Down syndrome or has mental retardation. What about... What part of me comes off as, uh, like, somebody who is mentally retarded? I mean, there's a big difference, I think, in my mind. There is a big difference uh, between somebody who has Asperger's versus somebody who has who has Down syndrome. I mean, there's a big difference. If you look at the two people, you know, if you compare people who have Asperger's versus people who have Down syndrome, mental retardation, um, you know, neurological disorders, it's a huge difference. I mean, it's, a t it's like black and white. It's like apples and oranges. It's like night and day. It's like comparing somebody who has Asperger's to somebody who's like a juvenile delinquent. It's a, it's a completely different concept. Or somebody who has, like, behavioral issues <clears throat> as opposed to mental health issues. I mean, it's a totally different concept. I mean, what about me comes off as... Retarded. I mean, the t I obviously it's just a it's just a it's just a you know a curse word a, a phrase. It's like the same thing as calling me a fag or a bitch or whatever. But you know, the term retarded to me is an old 50s, 60s term for somebody who is has like Down syndrome, somebody who has an IQ of 50. So. And there's a huge difference between Asperger's and that. Huge difference. Uh, next comment. This comment says, I think censor his comment, uh, this guy, this guy's effed up. Okay. What about me comes off as up? So, screwed up or effed up, depending on how you euphemize it. Because I don't want to actually use the word, so the euphemism for, um for F is screwed up, so F'd up is screwed up. What comes off as screwed up on me? I'm going to say screwed up, not F'd up. I don't get that. I mean, what comes off as, like, screwed up? I mean, I act pretty normal. I mean, I smoke the big-ass cigars. I mean, what comes off as, like, screwed up? I mean, I'm not going on the video acting like a creepy purse. I don't get that. I mean... I've never thought of myself as, like, you know, as, like, screwed up or, like, crazy or, you know, loopy, you know, cuckoo. I don't get that. I mean, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I've ever acted like I'm, like, I'm strange. I mean, people have called me a weirdo, but I just smoke cigars. I smoke pipes. I smoke tobacco. I mean, unless you're somebody who's just so against tobacco smoking, you just think everyone who's, who smokes tobacco is effed up, but, I mean, I don't get that. Okay, next comment. This is funny. This is funny, okay. 
This comment says, You're like a girl with small boobs. <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's actually pretty funny. Hashtag big ass cigar for life. So, you're like a girl with small boobs. <laughs> okay, I don't think I have moobs. Moobs meaning man boobs. What about me comes off as, I mean, I'm a little bit overweight. I mean, I'm 225, 230, and 5'10", 5'11". <clears throat> but I've seen people who have man boobs, and it's and disgusting. I mean, it's really gross. I've known people who are really, really fat, who, you know, just sit there eating Doritos, eating butter all day long, eating, you know, donuts and hot dogs and KFC and McDonald's. It's really disgusting. I mean, I'm actually trying to lose a lot of weight right now, so I'm trying to, you know, go down to about 200 pounds would be my goal, so. But, I mean, what comes off as, like, as, like, having moobs. I mean, people who have man breasts, you know, moobs, uh, man boobs, are usually really, really fat. I mean, really, really overweight, like really big people, people who are 350, 400 pounds. I don't get that. I mean, I don't think I look even close to 350 or 400. I mean, I think I look around like 220, 230, maybe even 200. I mean, if you look at me, I mean, just, I'm, I look bigger because I'm in the, in the viewfinder right here, but I don't get that. I mean, what comes off as looking like I have man boobs or I have boobs at all, so. Um, next comment says, I do have to tone this comment down way bit, quite a bit, so. It says, we're up to comment number nine. It says, they don't make those things to smoke them as they are, dot, 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 dot. You are supposed to fill them with a cheap, with cheap blank weed first. Okay, so weed comment. So this person is suggesting I split a uh, tobacco blunt open and fill with weed. You know what? For the last time, I don't smoke weed. I don't smoke weed for the last time. I have no interest in smoking weed. I'm not interested in switching to marijuana. I'm happy with tobacco. I'm happy with those big-ass cigars. And you know what? I don't really care. I mean, I really don't care. I mean, yes, I understand marijuana is so much healthier. It cures cancer, makes people walk again, cures the flu, regrows brain tissue, who, what, whatever. I mean, I have friends who smoke pot, but you know... <clears throat> It doesn't really matter. You know what? As it is right now, marijuana is still illegal. It's basically still illegal. So, you know what? Who cares? You smoke weed. You you take that chance. That's your business. So, and the word he used, uh, cheap, blank weed, he used the N-word. So, I'm not going to actually use that word. I'm never going to use that word on my channel. So, lovely. So, he's a troll. You know what? I understand the gas station cigars really aren't meant to be smoked the way they are. It's the same thing as glass pipes, same thing as bubblers, same thing as bongs, same thing as rolling papers, zigzag rolling papers. But you know what? I don't care. It's like, I smoke them the way I smoke them. I say tomato, you say tomato, you say potato, I say potato. Who cares? It's like, at the end of the day, it's not hurting you. I mean, unless you're one of those people who thinks, you know... Like, anyone who smokes tobacco is evil. Anyone who smokes tobacco is a serial killer because of secondhand smoke, you know. I, you know what? I don't care. I mean, it's like, I smoke outside. I don't smoke around other people. And at the end of the day, it's my choice. I'm almost 25 years old. Okay. Next comment says, Down Syndrome Ass. <laughs> Down Syndrome Ass. Like the big ass cigar. You know what? Screw you, dude. It's like, what comes off again as, like, Down Syndrome? I don't even get... I think these people are really dumb themselves. They're really dumb. I mean, what comes off as Down Syndrome? I mean, I know people who have Down Syndrome. I have friends who have Down Syndrome. And I feel bad for them. And it's a totally different neurological disorder, brain disorder than having Asperger's. Having Asperger's or having very high-functioning autism 
is a neurological disorder, but it's very minor compared to somebody who has Down syndrome, no offense to them. Somebody who has Down syndrome has a much lower IQ generally, generally has a lot more learning disabilities. Um, somebody who has Down syndrome usually has a lot of trouble understanding things. But, I mean, what comes off as Down syndrome? I mean, I don't even get that. I mean, I understand that I don't act like a man in my videos. I don't, you know, be buffed out. I don't have a six-pack. You know, I don't work on the gym all day. But you know what? I don't want to be buffed out. But what comes off as, like, Down syndrome? I don't even get that. I mean, I, I don't even get that for the life of me. Because I know people who have Down syndrome. Oh, car going by, sorry. What comes off as... Down syndrome. I don't get that. I really don't. Um, next comment. <laughs> this is funny. Um, next comment says, <laughs> This is funny. This is going to be funny while I smoke my big ass cigar. It says, I do have to kind of tone this comment down a little bit. It says, Did your dad beat the shit out of you with his dick in your face, you ugly a-hole eater, asshole eater. <laughs> okay, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting... Whew, take a deep breath. <sighs> so, did your dad beat the... out of you with his dick? <laughs> That's funny, I mean, why would my dad, I mean, some parents do spank their children, it's not really okay, but why would my dad beat me with his, you know, I mean, what comes, ill? I mean, that's like borderline incest, I mean, ugh, I mean, why would he beat me with his, I don't even get that, I mean, what comes up? Why would a, a parent do that? I mean, that's really, if you think about that, if you actually really stop down, sit down and think about it, that's actually really disturbing. I mean, why would a parent, why would a father hit, hit their children with their thing? I mean, yeah, weird. <laughs> Again, another troll. So, and then he calls me an ugly a-hole. So, you know what? I'm not Prince Charming. I'm not interested in being Prince Charming. I'm happy the way I am. So, screw you, dude. Um, um, next comment says, this is actually four comments on the same person. Yeah, four comments on the same person. First comment says, marry me. I'm gay like you. <laughs> next comment from the same person says, we're getting gay married at Cape Cod. Keep it a secret. Smiley face. Next comment says, Are you gay? Are you a gay? LOL. When are you going to the YouTube channel about me? I feel like you don't love me. Sad face. What the hell? <laughs> that's really creepy, actually. In all seriousness, that's actually really freaking creepy. First comment says, marry me, I'm gay like you. Ugh. I mean, first off, I'm not gay. For the last time, I'm not gay. I don't get what part of me comes off as gay. I don't get that. I don't get that for the freaking life of me. So, marry me. Ugh, I don't want to marry you if you're... I mean, ugh. ugh. I want to marry a woman, not a man. Bleh. No offense to people who are gay. I'm all for gay rights, but I mean, bleh. I don't want to marry a man. Blech. Don't want to marry a big sweaty man. Ugh. Yeah, so gross. Um, we're getting gay married. What's gay married? I mean, that's a homosexual wedding, but I mean, what? That's weird. I mean, we're getting gay married. So is that like an overly dramatic wedding with two people who are gay? I mean, I don't get that. At Cape, I went down to Cape Cod uh, summer 2013, so... You know, he's a troll. Um, next comment says, Are you gay? LOL. I'm not gay. It's the last time. I don't get what, what part of me... Let's turn into those creepy gym comments. What part... I mean, it's like these people think 
anyone who doesn't act buffed out is automatically gay. I mean, there are plenty of people who are like me who don't act in buffed out. I mean, it's like these people think, unless you're walking around with a gun in your hand, going, I'm a man, I'm a drill sergeant, I'm somebody who could do five push-ups in five minutes, you know, then you're gay. I mean, it's like these people think, and maybe these people are from a, a, a cultural background where that's big, a bigger deal, but I mean, I don't get that. And when you're talking about me on your YouTube channel, I feel like you don't love me. Ooh, that's weird. I mean, that's creepy. That's really creepy. I've gotten a few comments like that. A few comments from people who might be pedophile. Ugh. Well, not pedophiles because I'm over 18, but... I'm over 21, but they're not pedophiles. But I mean, ugh. I don't want to marry a man. Gross. Car going by. I mean, why would I want to marry a man? I mean, what part of me comes off as gay? <clears throat> I never get that. I never get that for the life of me. What part of me comes off as gay? Is it the way I act? Is it the way I dress? Is it the way I talk? Is it the way I explain things? Is it the way I hold the big-ass cigars? Yeah, I don't get that. What, what part of me comes off as gay? I don't get that. And the last comment, final comment, says he, she. <laughs> yeah, you're 12 years old. That's a, that's a term I learned when I was, like, 12 years old. Seriously, I remember in, like, 6th six, grade, 5th, 6th grade, I learned that term, he, she. It's like a, a guy who dresses like a girl. And a she, he is somebody who, a girl who dresses like a guy, like a lesbian. So, but, um, again, that's like saying you're transgendered. And no offense to people who are gay, who are, who are LGBT, LGBT, I'm all for gay rights. I mean, I'd be the first person to say, you know, I'd be the first person to legalize gay marriage if I was, you know, president, whatever. I mean, gay marriage is legal, I'm so happy about it because I'm so happy people I know can get married if they're gay. I mean, I'm so happy for them. But, I mean, what part of me comes off as, like, transgendered? I mean... I mean, what part of me comes off as transgendered? I've never even understood that. I mean, is it the way I talk? I mean, I have, I have freaking facial hair. I mean, I have facial hair in all my videos mostly. Most of my videos I have facial hair. I have a mustache. I mean, is it my lips? Is it my tongue? Is it my, my cheeks? Is it my eyebrows? I mean, I don't think I look transgendered. I mean, I've seen people who are transgendered. I mean... I don't think I look transgendered. I'm not actually upset. So, anyway, that's the end of the video. So, this video is almost 40 minutes long. Not going to make this video any longer. Comment, like the video, share the video, subscribe. And keep smoking. You know it, guys. You know it, Cigar Gang. Those big-ass cigars for life. Anyway, night-night. Bye.